airports are what we term as the fifth wave of economic development. The first wave was the seaports many centuries ago. The second wave was river and canal based development. The third wave was the railroads. The fourth wave was the highways. The fifth wave, the new wave, the wave of the 21st century is the airports. The basic drivers of this fifth wave, large jet aircraft, globalization, as we know, producers and consumers, speed, much of, much of the competition is now time-based, agility, the ability to customize and flex your response to consumer and client needs, connectivity, we're seeing global enterprise networks, perishability, the need to ship fresh fish, farmer, flowers, fashions, and tourism, both national and global. The 21st century is an aviation-based economy. Between 2010 and 2030, worldwide commercial passenger traffic will increase from 4.9 billion to approximately 13.3 billion. That's, that's about a threefold increase over that 20-year period. That's 36 million passengers per day when it peaks. In the same period, world air cargo is expected to more than triple. Air logistics are the new economy, and sorry, air logistics and the new economy are inextricably woven. Over one third of the value of world trade already moves by air, versus, and this is this is just one percent by weight. So it's very high value, low volume, low density goods that travel by air. We are the host city for the most biggest and most important international airport in Africa, which is our OR Oliver Tambo International Airport. So through the Eritropolis uh, processes, we believe that uh, ACE, as well as other processes towards uh, the actual conference, will actually uh, enhance our, our, our quest to actually promote the Eritropolis. The Eritropolis concept uh, is actually going to assist the metro to market, to increase investment, and also to actually promote jobs in Ekurulen. Ekurulen as a city, we are actually in the process of um, adopting our GDS. Our GDS is, um, is a 2055 strategy that is actually going to create the framework towards service delivery. We know that service delivery is key to local government, but without a proper uh, framework, like your GTS 2055, there's really nothing you can do and you cannot make an impact towards service delivery.